Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Tripwire Analytics on the Diamond Series system on the web browser and also on the local NVR GUI. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the Tripwire Analytics in the Diamond Series system in the web browser. So once you have the web browser open, you're going to type in the IP address and the URL, and then you're going to see the login page like you see here. So they're going to put in the username and then the password. Once you log in, you're going to see the main menu. Okay. So one of the first things I like to do is go to the live menu first. That way I can see the camera that I want. So if I need to adjust anything like the camera view, field of view, then I can do that. So here I can see the camera, so that's good. Then I'm going to go into the main menu again, and I'm going to go into where it says display. Under display, you're going to see an AI rule checkbox. You want to make sure that box is checked because if you don't, then the analytic rules that you see or you set up are not going to show in live display mode. Therefore, you have no frame of reference. So always make sure that's checked, okay? So once you check that, just click the OK button. Okay, then you'll see an operation succeeded temporarily up here at the top. And then you're going to go back in the main menu again. And you're going to go into where it says uh, AI, okay? That's where the most of the settings are going to be set up. So you're going to go down to where it says parameters. And then under parameters, you're going to go to where it says smart plan. Under smart plan, you're going to select the camera that you want. So in this example, it's channel four. And then you're going to notice a couple of icons here. Now, keep in mind that uh, depending on which camera that you have, they're going to have different features. So the more features that the camera supports, it's going to show more icons. But one of the first things you want to do is make sure that the IVS light bulb icon is selected because if that's not then you're not going to be able to proceed so make sure that's checked or highlighted blue click OK okay once that's done you're going to go to the next step you're going to go to IVS then I'm going to select the camera that I want which is camera number four okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the little plus button here and you're going to notice uh, analytics showing up by default now if you click on it right here you're gonna see a drop down menu of you know tripwire intrusion. Just leave it at tripwire because that's the one that we're using right now. Then make sure that box is checked here to the left under type, and then you're gonna click draw rule. Okay. So once you do that, you're gonna draw the rule and you're gonna see a little yellow line here. Okay, so you're gonna place it in the area that you want. Okay, then here under parameters, you're gonna see a drop down menu of which direction. So you can go left to right, right to left or you can do both. So in this example, I'm going to select both. So you can see the arrow is pointing in both directions now. Then under the where it says effective target, you'll notice that there's a human one and a motor vehicle one. So if you want to do the uh, human only triggering, then you can just select the human. Or if you want to do vehicles, then you can select that or you can do both, okay? Once that's done, I'm going to go to schedule, settings, and then make sure that's set to all the days that I want and the hours and click OK. All right, and then after that, uh, make sure the record channel is selected as well too, and then you click OK. Once that's done, I'm going to go back into the main menu, and then I'm going to go to settings here, and I'm going to go to storage. Under storage, I'm going to go to schedule, and then under record, uh, I'm going to make sure for that particular camera, I'm going to select camera number four, okay, and then by default, it's set to general, which is 24 hour recording, which is by default green, but in this example, I'm gonna make sure it's all blue, which you see in this case. How you change that is pretty much by going into the settings here under Sunday at the top, and then you're gonna see the uh, the time periods. So you can select all, and then you can select intelligent, okay? And then the color is gonna be blue as you see here. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna click okay. Then next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into live view, and then I'm gonna select the camera that I want, camera four okay and now you can see the analytic rules uh, already on the live view so now we're going to demonstrate this in action okay as you can see here he just walked past the analytic line and it tripped the wire okay so there's a couple of ways that uh, you can search for that uh, event the old-fashioned method is just going to search and then select the date and of course the camera. And then recall earlier we set the schedule to light blue for intelligence. So you can do it this way too, but that's very inefficient because it takes time to look for that. So a faster, more efficient method 
is by going to AI. And then under AI, you go to AI search and then you go to IVS, okay? And then you select the camera that you want, which is camera four in this example. Select the start time and start end time. And then select the correct analytics, which is the tripwire. And then of course the target that you want to filter out. Hit search. And then you'll notice here that the most recent time was 1137. So this is the clip that we're looking for. Check that box and then we're going to hit play. As you can see here, you see the clip of him walking towards the line and it's already triggered. And then that's how you do it. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the tripwire analytics in the NVR interface itself. So once you log in, one of the first things you want to do is go into display and then under worse is AI rule, make sure that's enabled, okay, and then click apply. Reason why you want to do that is because if you don't, the tripwire analytics will not show on the live screen and therefore you're not going to have a frame of reference whether it got tripped or not, okay? So make sure that's enabled. Next, what you want to do is go to the main menu again and go into AI and then under AI, under parameters, you want to go to where's the smart plan, okay? Under smart plan, of course, select the camera that you want and then you're going to notice a couple of icons. Now, depending on what features your camera supports, you may see multiple icons. But for this example, you're going to make sure that the light bulb, which is the IVS one, is highlighted blue, okay? So once that's done, you're going to go ahead and click apply. After that, you're going to go to IVS, and again, you're going to select the camera that you want, which is D4 in this example, and then you're going to go ahead and click add. Make sure that the checkbox for enable is highlighted, and then the type is going to be tripwire for this example, okay? I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and click draw. And then, of course, uh, under the direction here, you have a couple of options. This example, I'm going to select both. So that means that uh, when the person is walking in either direction, it's going to trigger the analytics, okay? Make sure target filter is on. And then uh, the effective target, you can choose between human or motor vehicle. Now, since we're on a busy street, uh, cars are going to be coming by all the time. So I'm just going to use a human in this example. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck motor vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw the analytics, the tripwire, right about here, okay? Oops, give me one second. Once you uh, finish, you're going to see the double arrow going in either direction. That's how you know you're done, okay? And just keep in mind if you mess up, it's okay. You can always uh, delete it and then redraw again. Click OK. And then at the bottom here, uh, you're going to, of course, hit apply, but don't forget to go to trigger and then make sure the record channel is uh, set up as well, because when it gets triggered, of course, you want recording footage of it. Click apply and you're done and then click apply down here. Next, we're going to go to storage. OK, so we're going to select the camera that we want, which is D4 and then under record. There's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, you're going to notice here that there's different ways of setting up for recording. Now, if I just set up for the intelligent checkbox, uh, that's going to uh, record as soon as the tripwire uh, gets triggered. However, you're going to notice that the, uh, the footage is going to be very brief and short. It's going to only record up to the point where it hits that tripwire. If you do, however, want to have a longer, more continuous uh, flow of the video, you can also add general, which is 24 seven recording along with the intelligent recording schedule. So that means it's going to pick up everything before the, uh, the tripwire is triggered and everything after, okay? So in this example, we're going to set up it for both. Then we're going to go ahead and select all, click OK, and then you're going to notice that the schedule now has two different colors, one for continuous and one for intelligent, okay? Once we're done there, we're going to click apply, okay? And then now we're going to go to the live mode, the live view, and then just remember under the main menu here, you can go to live preview mode and select AI mode. Under AI mode, you're going to have this uh, rectangular region here where you can see the snapshots, okay? So before that actually happens, you got to click on the little gear here and then select the human option here and then make sure that the, uh, this first box here is highlighted, click OK, and then that means that when the uh, analytics are triggered, it's going to show up on the right hand side here. It's going to tell you what type of uh, analytics, which is tripwire and the target, which is human. And now we're going to demonstrate the tripwire in action. So as you can see, she crossed the tripwire and it's flashing red. So that means it picked her up, okay? So now what we're going to do, 
click on the clip here, play back, and you'll see a nice continuous flow for walking past the tripwire, okay, with the uh, analytics uh, flashing. Now the more efficient method also you can do is go to main menu, go to AI search, and then under AI search go into IVS, select the camera which is D4 in this example, and then make sure the start time and the end time is correct. Event type select tripwire, and then uncheck all the uh, options that you don't need, and then only have the human uh, box checked. Hit search, and then you'll see here, this is the most recent clip, click on it, you'll see the analytics line right here, and then momentarily you'll see her walking through and tripping it. Okay, now one thing I also wanna mention is there are other ways to search for it, but they're uh, less effective and less uh, efficient. For example, some people may be tempted to go to search and then select the date, and then you'll notice here at the bottom under the timeline, you'll see a lot of a uh, blue color schedule for the intelligent. You could technically do it this way, but it takes a lot longer to have to fast forward and rewind to get the clip you want. So the faster method is to do it through the AI search, okay? And that's how you do it. And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the Tripwire Analytics and the Diamond Series system through the web browser and on the NVR local interface. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube page so you can get notified for future videos. Once again, thanks for watching.